Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about wires and magnetic fields. Now this is something very special about magnetic fields. So magnetic field strength of course is force per unit IL. So it's all about moving charges and moving charges move through um, wires. And what actually is happening is that in when a wire, when a current moves, it actually generates its own magnetic field. And this is actually something quite important, that a current carrying wire generates a magnetic field. And much like you use Fleming's left hand rule to work out the direction of the force that this current and this magnetic field are interacting with, what we're going to do now is we need something called the right hand screw rule to work out the direction of this field that this wire is causing. And it's called the right hand screw rule. And the right hand screw rule is slightly different depending if you're dealing with a wire on its own or you're dealing with a solenoid. So I'm going to start initially with the wire on its own. So the right hand screw rule is literally, if you take your right hand and give a thumbs up, these bit here, this can, these bits here are the screw and this point is directing something important. Now, in the case of the right-hand screw rule with a wire, this thumb here dictates the direction of the currents. Remember, current will flow from positive to negative, okay? This is conventional current, not real current. And so if I had a wire that was going in this direction here with a current of I, if I use the right hand screw rule, so I'm going to use my thumb to dictate the direction of the current, my fingers are turning this way. And if I was to draw the field lines around it, here, I would end up with some circles like this. The direction of the field lines would be this way. Because that is the way my knuckles would go. So that my fingertips are like the arrows pointing down, okay? So my field would be going like this, as you can see, going clockwise, okay? If I, was, of course, was to change the direction of the current here, so my current is now going this way, as you can see my fingers are going this way round. So my current is going this way here, so it's going anti-clockwise. So that there is the right-hand screw rule using um, a wire. Now, in electric fields, we actually, in electric magnetic fields, we tend to use coils of wire. And this slightly changes the rules a little bit, okay? So, what I have here is something called a solenoid, which is a coil of wire. And what I've done here is I've got blue is the bit in front and red is going behind. So this wire is doing this, okay? As is this one here. But I've got the current going in two different ways. Now the solenoid, the right hand screw rule, so I'm going to draw my right hand again, my thumb, and my one, two, three, four fingers there. In a wire, the thumb represented the direction of the current. In a solenoid, the thumb basically points to the north. It will point to the north of the magnetic field. These indicate the direction of the current. And remember, again, it is the conventional current, not the real current. So, if I take my right hand here, and I use my fingertips to represent the current on the front part, on the blue, my fingers will be going this way, okay? And my thumb is pointing downwards, which means that this here is the North Pole, and this means that is the South Pole. So the magnetic field that's coming in here is the North is at the bottom, and the South is at the top. Now if I had it with this one here, so the current is going in the opposite direction again, um, my fingers are going to represent, my fingertips here are the arrows, and they represent the direction of the current, and the blue bits of my bit in front, so using that there, as you can see here, my current's looked around, that is my North, and that is my south, okay? Now, this idea of solenoids is really useful when we start talking about magnetic flux and we start dealing with transformers.
okay? Because this is how a transformer works, all about coils of wire. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to talk very specially about using the right-hand screw rule to explain something that's going to happen here. I have two wires here, and they're both, the, remember this convention is going into the page. So my field is going into the page. Now this one here, if I use the right-hand screw, so my thumb is the current, because this is just a wire. My right-hand screw rule says the current, my field, is going this way here. I'm going to label that in red. This one, again, right hand screw rule, going to label it in red here, in blue here, sorry. And what the question would ask is what direction do the wires move. So what directions do the cut wires move? So I have a current carrying wire that is experiencing another magnetic field. Please be aware that it can't experience its own magnetic field, much like you can't experience your own gravitational field, you're the one making it. You only notice other things gravitational fields. So this wire here will only react to this blue field here. So to work out the direction it would move, I need to find the direction of the force. I'm going to do that using Fleming. So I use the right-hand screw rule to work out the direction of the field that it's made. And now I'm going to use Fleming's left-hand rule to work out the direction it will move because it's feeling a magnetic field. So force, field, and the current. So the current is going into the page here, okay, and the field, the object is feeling, here, so, yeah, going into the page, the field, the object is feeling is this blue one here, and this blue one is going up, okay, so the force it would feel is this inwards, okay. Now I'm going to do this with the other one, so again, the current is going into the page, that's my middle finger, and the field is going down because it's experiencing the red field there. So this one is going to feel inwards here. So if I drew it in colour, this force is due to the blue field, and this force here is due to the red field. So these wires are going to move together. So these are going to move inwards. And this is all because they are a current carrying wire generating a magnetic field. And another current carrying wire is experiencing that magnetic field. And when an object experiences a magnetic field, you use Fleming's left hand rule to work out the force on it. And because of Fleming's left hand rule, I am able to work out, so force field, current field, the direction of the force due to the blue field, the direction of the force due to the red field, and these wires would move inwards. So that there is magnetic field in wires, both a nice straight wire and a solenoid.